Hey everybody, this is Sonia Doswell with Soul Monade. I am here at the Des Moines Art Center in Des Moines, Iowa. Tonight is the premiere here in Iowa of the film Hoodwinked. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Sonia Doswell with Soul Monade. We are here at the Des Moines Art Center in Des Moines, Iowa, here to uh, experience the premiere of the film Hoodwinked right here in Des Moines, Iowa. And I have walking onto the red carpet to interview Mr. Jenks Morton. Jenks, welcome to Soul Monade. How are you tonight? Right, thanks for having me again. So, yes, and, I, yes, again. and welcome to the Hoodwinked premiere here in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Thank you. We are so excited. The, the crowd is, is beginning to gather outside, right. and uh, I heard that we're going to have a packed house tonight, huh? Yeah, that's what they've been telling me. Uh, it's seats 270, standing room only, so we, we're going to be in there, and it's going to be a powerful, powerful event tonight. We're going to turn, we're going to drop the roof in this place. So. Indeed, I believe it is. And afterwards, there is going to be a community conversation, mm -hmm. Q&A session afterwards. What is your expectation? What do you hope to accomplish with this, Jenks? Uh, well, Hoodwink is this, this kind of paradigm shift in our perception around what does it mean to be black in mm -hmm. America? Or what is normative black behaviors, if you want sure. the technical thing? So mm -hmm. what it usually happens when this information is launched on an audience, there's a lot of pause, there's a lot of reservation, and then there's this space where people want to kind of, you know, they want to filter this information in, but then how would we take it and move it forward? So we have some real, real um, steps, some community action steps that can be taken, mm -hmm. uh, address the audience, and then take this kind of jewel, these jewels of information, and move them out into the community. Mm -hmm. So Yes, and you know, I've been chatting with some folks here in the wings prior to, to mm -hmm. starting here on the red carpet and mm -hmm. let me tell you they are excited. Yeah, they are. Um, making they're, some noise. <laughs> they are making some noise. They yes, are. they are. Betty Andrews that has stopped by. Betty, how are you this evening? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. It seems like it's going to be a wonderful event and going to educate us a lot, so I'm looking forward to it. I got an email from our um, restorative justice group with Amos, and so I'm really excited to have the opportunity to see this film. Aren't you Hallelujah. excited to see this film? Absolutely. I'm really excited to see you know what Jenks Morton has to say. We had the opportunity to have a young man stop by our uh, uh, in a NAACP meeting on last Tuesday mm -hmm. and share that they would have this film. So we decided to bring some, a group of us down to be a part of this. Hey, check it out. We have AJ who has stopped by the red carpet to share a few words with us. AJ, what are you doing here tonight? What's the expectation? Uh, actually, one of my friends brought me here. She said that, you know, the free premiere going on and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I was just like, oh, all right, come check it out. See what's going on in Iowa, you know? Yeah. Hey everybody, we have Rachel who has stopped by the red carpet to talk it up a little bit. Tell me what your view is of this film. I'm just really here to just absorb as much as I can. Um, I'm always open to finding new ideas about bettering our community. So just coming in with an open mind and going to be a sponge and see what I can absorb. Probably in jail. In jail. Jail. Who taught you to hate? Are there more black men in jail or in college? In jail. Yeah. The texture of your hair. In jail. Who taught you to hate yourself? In jail. From the top of your head? In jail. Down to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? What percent of black boys drop out of high school? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? What's the ratio of women to men on Howard? So much so you don't even want to be around each other. Why do I feel the need to throw out high numbers on negative Question. Do stereotypes actually help black women succeed? Pick which one 5% enrolls in college the most. You're saying that they have a high, you have to say African American females have a higher incidence of going to college than white women? That's not true. That, I, I, I would, I, 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 that's absolutely not true. To, if you're suggesting that African American women are increasingly surpassing their male counterparts. If African American boys and girls, as measured by state standardized examinations and SATs and ACTs, are among the lowest performers, it would be an act of God beyond anything that I've seen. Well, let me just say this from a biblical perspective. I mean, Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Taking on many leadership roles in the workplace, according to a study. And if you confess one of every three of you all are going to jail, then you just put the nail into the coffin. If somebody tells you there is a 50% graduation rate, you think that the opposite end of the coin is a dropout rate. 
why don't we say what the stat says? The stat says one of every three of you are going to college. We need to stop trusting things that we see in the media because we have to understand that they are in the business of selling a story and crisis sells. You know, we, we see the image, we see Lil Wayne with a mouthful of diamonds and, and acting just like a complete ass. I think it has to do with what we decide to see in our people. Name a positive stereotype about black people in general. Hmm. I don't know any. Hey y'all, this is Sonia Doswell with Soul Minad. We are here for the Des Moines premiere of the film Hoodwinked, uh, which is created, written, and directed by Jenks Morton. We have just seen the film. The community discussion is still taking place, but standing right here to my left, I do have uh, the event uh, coordinator, the community organizer, uh, Matt, in the house with us. Matt, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It was a uh great evening. God really came through and just, you know, showed his love for us all. Mm -hmm. It was definitely well attended. Nice. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it so much. I'm just so excited. It's such a success. So Matthew Gilbert, tell me, what is it that inspired you to, to take the reins with this, with this project and organize all of this this evening? Well, before I get into the content of the film, you know, the film, you know, at this point in time, I really wanted to, you know, share my passion with the community and I wanted to do that in a manner that would really you know get us you know talking and dis and, and discussing some critical issues and one of the biggest issues is you know the love that we have for ourselves and you know I feel that it is just kind of my purpose to go around and just promote greatness the greatness that we all share within the greatness that we all just you know we witness and this is you know we all were witness to really some greatness this evening and Jenks being able to come and share his his, his wonderful story hoodwinked is, is just awesome you know People were right along clapping and just they were getting it, you know, and he's really, really moved by the Des Moines community and how they embraced him and really showed their appreciation to his, to his work. So we have Alexis who has stopped by uh, to talk with us here a little bit on the red carpet. So the film is over yes. and this is the first time you've seen it? Yes. And in two or three sentences, can you tell me your thoughts? Um, it was truly um, eye-opening. Hey y'all, Lindsay has stopped by the red carpet, just finished watching Jenks Morton's latest project called Hoodwinked. And your thoughts, tell me. It definitely was an eye-opener. So we have Ms. Sherelle Wiley has stopped by the red carpet, and I want to ask you, uh, Ms. Wiley, what were your views on seeing Hoodwink tonight? Well, above all, I think it's important that we as black people understand how critical it is to know facts. So after seeing the film, Ms. Lily has stopped by here on the red carpet. Lily, tell me your thoughts after seeing Hoodwinked. You know, I thought it was so dynamic, you know, a lot of misinformation. Um, I think the um, movie has helped to maybe deprogram, um, and I am definitely going to take my copy to a number of places. I have a 19-year-old son who is in college now, and I just really appreciate the fact that, it, that you came, and I really appreciate the information. So Curtis is here, he just finished seeing Hoodwinked, and you say what? I say that I think it's a time, I, I'm kind of on the other end of this thing. I'm tired of hearing the statistics. I'm tired of hearing it over and over. I think it's been talked about so much that people are ex accepting it as a norm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's time to put that away, time to put all the poverty away. It's time, as much as we know now, it's time to put up or shut up. Mm -hmm. I can't give my brothers and sisters no more excuses, right. no more when you know that that's an old statistic, that more of us are in prison than in, in, than in college. That, all that stuff is old. The question is, what are you going to do about it? So Betty, thank you for stopping by the red carpet. Now that you have seen Hoodwinked, your thoughts are what? I thought it was thought-provoking.